Yo, hey everybody, in this video we're going to create a very basic number guessing game in C. We'll be generating some pseudo-random numbers. Using a while loop, we'll continue to guess what the correct number is, until we get the right answer. This is meant to serve as a practice project for beginners. Let's begin. You'll need to include the following two header files, standardlibrary.h and time.h. To generate some pseudo-random numbers, we'll need to set the seed. We can do that with the function srand. The default value for a seed is usually 1, so what we'll do is use the current time by calling the time function and passing it into the srand function. To get the current time, you can either pass in 0 or null. Null, in my opinion, is more readable. If we don't set the seed, for our random number generator, it's going to give us the same number each time. We'll need the following variables. An int of guess to hold our current guess. We'll keep track of how many times we've guessed, how many tries. Int tries, I will set that to zero. Here you'll pick the range of numbers you would like to use. The random number will be between one and 100. Int min, the minimum, I'll set that to be one. Int max, I'll set that to be 100 but feel free to pick different numbers if you would like. You could even increase the range too. Here's the formula to generate a random number in C. I'm going to create an integer of answer. This will be a random number. Set it equal to, we're going to call the rand function. This will give you a random number between zero and whatever the max value is with your operating system and the compiler. For me, the maximum random number is just over 32,000. We're going to combine this with the modulus operator. The modulus operator will give you the remainder of any division. You would think I could say just 100 or max because it is 100. Rand modulus max in my case would give me a random number between zero and 99. This number is exclusive. I don't get 100. So let's pretend that our minimum was 10 for a moment. I need a number between 10 and 100. I could say max minus min, that would give me 90. This would generate a number between 0 and 89, technically. I'll add plus 1. Enclose this part of the equation with a set of parentheses, just to force operator precedence. Then add the minimum as an offset. Here's the full formula, but I'll set the minimum back to 1. It is kind of complex. I admit that. Just to test our answer, let's print it. I want to be sure that everything's working. We will print an integer. We will display our answer. And it should be a random number between 1 and 100. 90. There we go. Let's print a welcome message. I'll print the following. We'll say number guessing game, just as a title. We're going to continue playing while our guess does not equal our answer. Well, we can do that with a do while loop. Do this code once while our guess does not equal our answer. Now, once we finish this game, we're going to display a score as well as what the random number is. We're going to print the following. We'll print the answer is insert an integer add a new line, we will display our answer. Then display the number of tries. How many attempts did it take the user to guess the right answer? It took you, insert an integer, tries. Then display our variable of tries. All right, within the do while loop, we'll ask for a number between our minimum and our maximum. We'll print using printf, guess a number between, insert an integer, this will be for the minimum, dash, insert an integer for the maximum, colon space, we will display our min and our max. Then we will use scanf to get some user input. Scanf, we're accepting an integer, at the address of our guess variable. Once we insert our guess, we're going to increase our variable of tries. 
tries plus plus. How many attempts did it take for us to get the right answer? Let's do a test run. Oh, then I need a new line character after our title. There we go. Number guessing game. Guess a number between 1 and 100. I'll just guess something right in the middle. 50. No, that wasn't it. 75. Nope. After each incorrect guess, we'll let a user know if their guess is too high or too low, just to narrow down the possible ranges. After we increase tries by 1, we'll write an if statement. We'll write if our guess is lower than our answer, then we will print too low, just to let the user know. Too low, new line character. If our guess is greater than our answer, we'll check that with an else if statement. Our guess is greater than our answer, we will print too high. If our guess isn't less than our answer, and our guess isn't greater than our answer, that must mean our guess equals our answer. If that's the case, then we should reach this else statement, where we'll print correct, correct, new line. And that should be everything. Let's run it. Number guessing game. Guess a number between 1 and 100. With these sorts of games, I like to do a binary search. I just keep on guessing in the middle of a range. I'll start with 50, something right in the middle. Too high. The number should be between 1 and 50 then. Again, I'll just guess something right in the middle. 25, too high. The answer is between 1 and 25. 12, too low. It's between 12 and 25. 18, too low. It's between 18 and 25. 21, too low. 23, too low. 24, that should be it. Correct, the answer is 24. It took you seven tries. All right, everybody, and that is a very basic number guessing game that you can write as a project in C.